Hey, this is Jean and CA with CA and J Farm. We're an educational retail herb, egg, and music farm here in beautiful Matthews County, Virginia. CA's holding Chinchilla. She's one of our beautiful little rabbits. And uh, she has the oily head going on because we just treated her for ear mites. We've had a very busy week, but we've been, we actually put her here in this little cage. It's in our hoop house. And she's been living here all week, and we've been treating her about every every day with mineral oil. That's one of the cures for ear mites. And, you know, the ear mites were really bad. She had been underground for a, a while. We hadn't seen her. When she came up, we knew we had to treat her. So ear mites are a terrible thing. And, and you know, we didn't have trouble with that until we actually had somebody drop off um, a rabbit at the farm. So we took that rabbit in, and it had ear mites. And, of course, it spread. And so now we're having to treat a bunch of them. And uh, the way you do, you put mineral oil down inside their ears every day for about a week or so. And it smothers the ear mites. So she's got the old oily hair going on. She goes, oh, my hair is just never going to look the same. <laughs> that's one thing we wanted to share a little wisdom. And the same thing goes for chickens. Um, if you go to the poultry swap down at Tractor Supply and bring home some chickens, you want to isolate them for a while because sometimes they'll bring something into your flock. Like that rabbit kind of brought ear mites to our our group. I think I saw where a group of rabbits is called a fluffle. So so that 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 rabbit that had the ear mites brought the ear mites to our fluffle of rabbits. So but anyway, we're going to just a quick check in this week. It has been very busy, and uh, we just got back from the vet. Took uh, Moon for her three year rabies and her annual checkup, and of course we had to take all the dogs with us because they don't like going by themselves and. So we've just always done that. We always take them, and it was a good it was a good trip because it gave them a chance to practice walking on their leashes, and we actually have halters on them now. So it gave them a chance to learn, you know, to go over again how to walk on their leashes and how to get up and down off the truck. We have a ramp where we run them up into the back of the truck. So it was a good practice. But I tell you, CA and I wore out. Uh, Moon weighs one hundred and eight. We're pretty sure Jack's Jeez, right in that neighborhood of that. He's probably around 90 or 100. And then Bear, we think, is probably about like 130. So we've got to be careful. They could definitely hurt us if we let them get away from us. So it was a good practice for us, too. Anyway, the sun has come out. We're out here in the hoop house. And we're going to go take Chinchilla and put her back into the fluffle. She'll be happy because she's been getting bored here in this cage by herself. So one last view of her. Yes, you want to go back to your friends, don't you? She's been very bored and very lonely. So we're going to go put her back. Y'all be well. Have a great week, and I'll see you again soon. This is our farmily share from an herb farm, kind of our farm journal. Be well. <laughs>